Hello friends, welcome to the video tutorial of C programming and in this video we are going to study the concept of array of strings. You can also call it as 2D array of characters. I'll also explain why it will be called as 2D array of characters. Okay, so till now whatever program we studied related to string, all are related to the single string only, right? But suppose you want to store multiple string, okay, so in that case we need to use a concept of array of string. Let me give an example. So as you can see here, I store five strings, nothing but a names of fruits. And here I consider that my maximum length of a fruit name can be 10 characters. Okay. So it is just a grid like structure. Okay. So that's why we need 2D array of character because basically when we want to store a single string, how do we declare it? We say char then s of size 100. So this itself means what? One single string, right? But suppose I want to store multiple string. In that case, I need to specify the number of strings and what is the size, approximate size of an individual string so that's why we need 2d array of character so declaration will be something like this so let us say declaration part first char say since we are storing fruit names so let me declare as fruits so approximately i am storing five fruits and approximately of 10 character long so, whenever you want to use array of string, you will declare it in this way. Okay. Now, let us see how to initialize it. Now, whenever contents of an array or content of a string are known, in that case, you can initialize your array. Similarly, we can initialize our array of string also. So, let me show you how to initialize it. Say, char. Again, say I am storing colors. So let us call our array as colors. Say approximately I am going to store three colors and size is 10 character long. So equal to and in curly braces, you will specify your color. Red, green. It can be any color of your choice. Blue. Okay. So this first string goes at 0 through. The second string goes at first row. And third string goes at second row. So as you can see here, at first position, okay, this mango fruit is at 0th position. Means this is your first string. This is your second string. In the same way, this information gets stored in a memory. Now, let us see. If you want to input this string from a user, how will you do it? Okay. Now, assume that we have one character array, two, 2D array. Okay. And its name is fruits. And I want to store five strings approximately 10 character long as you can see here. Okay. But just what we want to do, we want to accept this value or we want to accept the values for this array from a user. So basically, whenever you want to accept any string or whenever you want to scan any string, how do you scan? Just assume that I have one string. So say char s of size 10. How do you scan it? So you say get s, s, the special function designed to input a string or you can use scan f. Then format specifier for string is percent %s and you specify the name of your array. You never use, you never use ampersand sign. You just specify what? You just specify the array name. And what array name represents? Array name represents base address. What array name represents? Base address. Now what is base address? Base address means starting address. So whenever you want to accept this string means suppose you want to accept a string for a zeroth position or for a first position what we have to do we have to specify 
the array of that sorry we have to specify the address of that row because when i say just fruits okay if i just say fruits what it means it means base address of this 2d array so it will always give me a 0 0 position element array it will always give me the address of 0 0 element here whenever i am going to scan the values for this array i need an address of each and every row so how to get it let us see so first of all we have to use for loop because we want to scan multiple row values so let me initialize it with zero uh, we have five rows so that's why i'm going to going till i values is five and i plus plus now here we will just give one message to the user so again it is optional it is up to you and to say fruit name so this message get printed as it is right now we want to scan the value and then we want to keep it at ith position of my 2d array okay so what you can see here scanf you can use scanf also percent s ampersand fruits of i comma zero i of zero i of zero look at here i use ampersand here because what i told you if i just say fruits what it gives me it gives me address of zero zero element but i need address of each and every row so here what i am saying i am saying zero zero ampersand of zero zero and what this ampersand represents it is address of operator we already studied this part in pointer this is what address of operator it always gives you address so here you have to use ampersand or address of operator sorry this should be address of operator extremely sorry address of operator okay So here we have to specifically define the address of each and every row or what you can do you can also say scanf percent s and here you have to just say fruits of i do not specify the column index do not specify the column index okay just specify the row index so in this case also what it gives you it gives you the address of i row. similarly you can also have an alternative that you can use get s function okay suppose you want to scan a multiple word string in that case you can go for get s function so fruits of i okay so these two are what alternative you can either use this or this or this okay so i hope you understand that how to write a input statement for accepting array of strings okay now let us see the output statement okay which is used to print the content of array of strings so basically whenever we print a single string at that time also we provide the base address of our array in the form of array name so here also what we have to do we have to provide the address of each and every row okay and i already explained you how to get the address of each and every row okay while studying this input statement i told you either what you can do you can specify row and column index but column index always should be what zero because you always whatever string will be there first of all first character always going to be placed at zeroth position so column index always remains zero and then you have to iterate through i values and in that case you have to specify the address of operator or you can just say the array name and just specify the row index so this will also give you the address of each and every row so here again i'm assuming that my array name is fruit so here i'm considering my array size of 5 or row size of 5 so that's why i'm initializing my i with 0 it goes till i value is less than 5 and i plus plus 
so again for put if statement or print if statement we have to give the address of each and every row so what you will say fruit fruits of i again i am assuming that my array name is what fruits okay so that's it about the output statement so i hope you understand the basic concepts related to the array of string so in next section or in next video we are going to study the program on this thank you for listening